All right, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena, and today we're going to be playing a 1v1 battle against a resistance player. So let's get into it. Uh, so I throw on a gold scouting boost uh, because I accidentally upgraded my barracks to level 2. I meant to actually upgrade my HQ. So I'm going to try and compensate in terms of speed, collecting some of those early game resources. Looks like my opponent is also active in scouting too. They're grabbing some containers as well for base development. So, a couple of counters happening around the map. Uh, I've got four supply centers now. I'm going for my fifth supply center. And we can see that my assault here is going to get onto the plateau. So this is my first good scout of my opponent's base. We can see an assault vehicle factory. We see the HQ being upgraded. Currently HQ2, about to become HQ3. A couple supply centers down. Uh, looks like some good infrastructure so far with a very neat base deployment. So I only see three supply centers so far. So I think my opponent's going to put down their fourth and fifth supply centers in a little bit. Um, once the HQ is upgraded or while the HQ is upgrading. So I'm also upgrading to HQ3. We've got a Avia factory going down. Couple riflemen coming in. So my plan is to produce a cyclone so I can get some vision and map control. And also to see what my opponent is up to in a little bit. That's going to dictate the rest of my build for whether I produce an HQ3 army or go for HQ4 and go for an HQ4 build. So my first cyclone's out. I'm going to move my cyclone over to the resistance player's base. First thing we encounter is a sniper tower, a couple riflemen, you can see there's scouting denial. So now I'm going to move my cyclone onto the base, we see a field and... Wait, hold up. Where's the... Where's the other two supply centers? Uh, okay, so my opponent went for a level 3 assault vehicle factory and a level 2 avia factory, but didn't quite bother with two more supply centers. It's, a, it's an interesting choice. Okay, uh, so I actually would recommend going for at least five supply centers before you start producing units. So I'm gonna get out a special vehicle factory, airfield. I'm actually gonna get some vertex out as well to counter those hawks and just so I can get some map control. Uh, my opponent sends over a hawk, scouts my base, sees what I'm up to. And I dropped an air tower down. Uh, just as a precaution, I'm also going to get a couple Typhoons out. This should be enough of a deterrent that if my opponent decides to attack with four Hawks, uh, they're going to take some good damage while doing so. Uh, my main build, though, is going to be getting out some Zeus and Horns with those factories. Going to get a couple Vertex out. Going to send those Vertex over. Just going to hit the Sniper Tower just for a little bit of harassment. And looks like my opponent has dropped down a couple anti-air towers, is finally putting down that 4th and 5th supply center. So right now I can see that my opponent doesn't have that much of a ground army. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and risk an HQ3 army build, max out my command points, and see if I can make a push onto the enemy base. So, the composition of choice I'm thinking of at this point is I'm gonna go for some Zeus, Torrents, uh, Typhoons. I'm gonna maybe build up to four Typhoons and get a fire assault or two and then a couple heavy assaults. Also got another assault vehicle factory going. I'm gonna produce some hammers as well, just to give my army a little bit of a boost. So I'm gonna move a cyclone into the center of the map. So we spot there a rifleman in the trees. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that rifleman. And then I'm just gonna leave my cyclone in the middle of the map. This is just to give me some vision control in case uh, my opponent decides to move some kind of force into the middle of the map. My army's pretty much maxed out, so I'm gonna go ahead and move out. We're gonna move first to the bottom of the little lake in the center. And then we're gonna move off 
to the left hand side. So first thing I'm going to do here to just get myself nice and set up is I'm going to set up my Typhoons and I'm going to put my units on observation mode. This is just so they don't prematurely go and attack. Uh, Cyclones have a lot of visual range so uh, sometimes they're prone to just going and attacking on their own if you don't micro them carefully. So I'm going to get my torrent set up now in case of a ground army. So I'm just about ready in position. I'm actually going to move my torrent a little bit closer. That sniper tower is firing on me. So he knows I'm here. So let's go for it. The torrent's going to deploy. And rockets are going to rain down onto the distance player. Moving in my full army. Looks like my opponent's got a jaguar and some infantry. That's going to get cleaned up nicely. Looks like some grenadiers and riflemen coming out. Here comes the hawks. And my typhoons do a ton of damage to those hawks. Those hawks are only going to be able to do maybe a couple passes before they get shot down. Now I am just chewing through the resistance player's base. This is no problem at all for my army. Lost most of my infantry though, but that's okay. Most of this ground attack is from the Zeus. Most of the firepower is with them. I got a couple hammers to support. I haven't moved up my torrents yet, uh, mainly because at this point, pretty much good game. Uh, I just killed off another Jaguar, and my opponent knows that they're pretty much done for. Normally, if you're attacking a base, you want to finish off the production first, uh, just to stop units, but in this case, uh, I was okay with just doing an attack move, and at this point, my opponent self-destructs, and it's good game. Alright, that's it for this battle. Hope you all enjoyed that battle relatively quick. We'll see you in the next one. Victory.